Hello and welcome to Build On Ideas Institute and this is Six and Sunny. So this is the fifth part of the Blender Beginners tutorial and we'll be going into the edit mode of Blender in this tutorial. So when you go into the edit mode, we'll start using uh, start using the uh, the vertex mode, the edge mode, the face mode, and the move, rotate, and scale using the vertex, edge, and face respectively. So we'll go into the tutorial and see how we go about it. So when coming to Blender, you can see that we are basically by default in object mode. So after uh, when you want to go into the edit mode, we just click on the tab. You can see that we go into the edit mode when you click on the tab. So there's another option which you can click here and uh, go into the edit mode just like this. So when you enter the edit mode, you can see this object with vertex being selected. If you click outside, all the selections will be gone. Now if you want to select uh, the vertex, the option is the uh, number one in the left side uh, top of the keyboard. When you click on 1, it go, uh, selects the vertex mode. If you click on 2, it selects the edge mode. And if you click on 3, it selects the face mode. So this is how we select uh, the edge, uh, vertex and face respectively. 1, 2, 3. 1 for vertex, 2 for edge and 3 for face. So when you start doing this, uh, you can see that uh, if you start selecting the vertex, the different uh, vertices can be selected by uh, just clicking on the left button of the mouse and uh, start selecting. And if you want a multiple selection, you just click on the shift and then start selecting each vertices. There's another method by clicking and dragging so that you can select the multiple uh, objects in the, in the vertex mode. If you want to click and drag, you have to be in the select box mode uh, in the selection tool. You have other modes here uh, like tweak, select, select circle and select lasso. I'm using the select box in this uh, selection box and the selection tool and then I'm just clicking and dragging. So when you when I click then track, you can see that all the vertices are, have been selected. But uh, if you just rotate it, you can see that I've not selected this vertex. The reason why this is not being selected is that I, I when I click and drag, I can select only the uh, the vertices face and edge which has been facing us. The other side can be selected only if we go and select this this X-ray mode. So if you click on X-ray, you can see that uh, you can see the back side as well. So now if you click and drag, you can see that all the vertices have been selected. So to toggle this, uh, the X-ray mode is uh, by clicking on Alt-Z. You click on Alt-Z, you can see that we are toggling between uh, the X-ray mode and the normal mode. So you can do the same thing by clicking on 2 to go to the edge mode. And then if you just click and drag, you can see that I've selected all the uh, edges which is facing us. And if you click and rotate, you can see that this is not selected. So if you click on Alt C, you have this uh, X-ray mode active. And then if you just click and drag, you can select all the vertices. Same thing happens in, in the face mode as well. If you click and drag, you uh, selects all the faces. Uh, now we are in the X-ray mode. I'm just clicking on Alt tab to go to the normal mode and then clicking on dragging. And then if you rotate, you can see that these two faces are not being selected. The reason is that it is not in the X-ray mode. If you go to the X-ray mode by clicking on Alt Z, you can now see the back face as well. But you can see one more thing is that when you click outside, you can see that there is a, there is a dot in the center of all, each faces. Uh, if you click on this area, if you click and drag on these areas in the face mode, nothing gets selected. So in order to uh, select any face in in the X-ray mode, you have to click on this dot. Each dot represents each face, and then if you click on that, you can. It, it is easy for us to uh, select the different faces from uh, facing direction. That is, if you want to select the back side also, it's possible by seeing the dots. So that's how we do it. Now, if you want to move, rotate, and scale the vertex, uh, just click on the vertex mode. Select this, and then click on G for the moment and uh, for the restrictions X, Y and Z respectively, you can move uh, and uh, move in each direction. Similar thing happens in the rotate as well. And if you want to uh, scale these two vertices, it's possible by clicking on S and then start scaling. You can see that it has been scaled. If you want to rotate also, it's possible by clicking on R and then for the constraints, you click on X, Y and Z respectively. 
same thing happens in edge as well if you click on 2 it goes to the edge mode you click on this and then if you start scaling click on s and then start scaling like this if you click on r it starts rotating and then if you want to move just click on g for grab and then start moving same thing happens in the face as well if you click on 3 it goes to the face i'm selecting the face and then if you click on r it starts rotating in x direction if you want it like that if you, in y direction if you want it in this way and if it in z in this direction and then if you want to scale this if you click on s it starts scaling and then if you click on x it constrains in x direction if you click on y it constrains in y direction and if you click, uh, click on z it constrains but it is not shown because this is the phase in z direction so this, that's how it is now if you want to select these phases in one ring if you just click on alt and then click on this near this edge like this it i'll just switch off this i'll just show you once again click on alt and then click on this edge it selects all the phases in that area similar thing in the, this direction if you want you can click here click, uh, click on alt and uh, click and hold alt and then click on this direction it goes like that like this like this so it is like towards the edge it goes in the ring so it's very important to see that we are modeling something in precision so it's very important to make something in the dimensions which is available or given to us so i'll just add an object here as a cube now you can see that there's a cube here and by default it is given as 2 meter by 2 meter by 2 meter so uh, i'll do the move rotate and scale as default which i've explained in the previous video uh, like uh, just click on g to move it R to rotate it and uh, S to scale it. Now only in scaling there is one thing that if you start scaling in object mode what happens is like the scale factor changes. When you when there is a change in the scale factor it affects the whole thing. If you start modeling with uh, a change in the scale factor it affects the dimensions as well. So you have to always make sure that when you are scaling something you have to make sure that everything is in one. So when you want to scale something just go into the edit mode by clicking on tab and then start scaling if you do the scaling in in the edit mode what happens is like the scale doesn't change so that's how you do a scaling go into the edit mode and then do the scaling so it doesn't affect the scale factor now uh, it is important as I said like uh, you can see by default it is 2 meter by 2 meter by 2 meter I'll just click here and then I'll click on G to grab it and then in the X direction I'm moving it here you can see that there is a minus 2.61 meter which has been moved so if I want to adjust this more uh, this dimension I can do it here in this dialog box you can see that I can move the direction I'm just making it as minus 4 now now if I go to the object mode by clicking on the tab you can see that this has been scaled or moved into X direction by 4 meters and the total uh, distance I've moved is 4 meter and the total shows us 6 meter same thing I'm doing it on this side as well I'm just clicking and dragging it and uh, grabbing it in Y direction I'm just clicking here and you can have the dialog box here I'm just moving in this in 5 meter so I'm just clicking and making it 5 now if you go to the object mode you can see that this is 7 meter same thing happens if you do it in this direction as well so I'm just clicking it here and then I'm giving a dimension as maybe a 6 meter so the total should come to 8 this is 8 meter so that's how it is done you have one more method to do it just click here and then if you just uh, give us G and then if you just move in X direction and then this is minus X I'm just giving it as minus maybe say 3 meter now if you just see you can see that it has been moved from 6 to 9 so that's how it happens so now I'm just going into the rotate in order to demonstrate the rotate part I'm just deleting this and then I'm adding a plane out here so you can see a plane out here and then uh, the rotation happens in degrees so let's see how it happens in precision so I'm just clicking on this and then giving it as R in rotation and then I'm just clicking on X to rotate it in X direction I'm just clicking it here and then you can see a dialog box coming for rotate you can see it is 42.7 degree I'll just make it as 35 and then if you just click here this is 35 degree now so if you can see the rotation in 35 degree now if you want to make this uh, as maybe 
I'll just go into here and then click on R and then I'll just go into Y direction and Y axis you can see I'll just make it as click here and then I'll just make this as 90 so now you can see in Y direction it is 90 degree similar way in X direction also X axis also you just click on R and then you can click on Z to set direction set axis and then click here and then if you just make it as maybe a 35 or 45 or whatever just click here this is 45 now you can see in z direction in z axis it is 45 degree so this is how it is done now in scaling also you can see i'm just adding a cube out here now coming to the cube one difference in cube is that when you do a scaling in object mode if you just click on here and then click on s and then do a scaling you can see that there is a difference in the scale factor so if there is a difference in the scale factor it affects the modeling now if you go into the uh, edit mode and then do a moment in here that will really be affected because the, it doesn't give an actual dimension so in order to do a scaling it's always better to go into the edit mode and then do the scaling when you do the scaling and then if you just see the scale mode doesn't affect but uh, it is affected in the dimensions so by default it was two meters you can see it here I've just scaled it and then kept it here and then if I'm doing it as 2, 2 and 2 now you can see that it is 4 meters uh, and also the scale been affected by 2 if you do it in edit mode I just go to the edit mode and then do a scaling and I do the same thing 2, 2, 2 and then if I go to the object mode I can see it is 4 by 4 by 4 but uh, the dimension, the scale factor doesn't change so always do the scaling in edit mode that's the best part of it so i hope you like this tutorial if you like this video kindly like and share it also if you have some queries kindly uh, comment below and please do subscribe to this channel and click on the notification link next to it so that you get the next video thank you